Denver Water is in the midst of a 10-year, $120 million project to upgrade treated water storage facilities across the city. Denver Water serves a large population in the metro area, and since we're in an arid climate here, we have to store water. We can't just take it out of the river. Engineers are relying upon internally cured concrete to build massive water tanks to store this scarce resource. We are always looking for ways to improve the durability and performance of the tanks. We've decided to take a look at internal curing and been using internally cured concrete in our tanks ever since. For the last five years, Denver Water's Eric Holk has been working closely with engineers to perfect concrete mix designs containing pre-wetted lightweight aggregates. The expanded shale product is manufactured here in Boulder, Colorado at ESCSI member Trinity Lightweights Plant. Pre-wetted expanded shale fines were used to replace a portion of normal weight concrete sand. The benefits of this modification include enhanced durability and improved construction schedules. But for Denver Water, internal curing provides an even more critical advantage. The biggest problem for us is shrinkage cracking. So that was the, that was the main goal, was to reduce shrinkage cracking. And along the way, we found out there were some other benefits and that included the concrete is less permeable and the heat of hydration is reduced during curing, so that mitigates uh, thermal stresses and thermal cracking. We were also able to take cement out of the mix, which reduces the cost of the mixture too. Internally cured concrete has been used in all of Denver Water's tank replacement projects. The first was the Lone Tree facility completed in 2012. The second was a 7 million gallon tank at their Highlands plant. A third project, the $40 million Ashland facility, also utilizes internal curing for the floor and roof slabs. That's the Ashland facility. We're building two new tanks to replace two old tanks that were built in the early 1900s. One of them is already constructed and in service. footprint that you see there is the base slab of the second tank. When complete, the two 10 million gallon tanks here at Ashland will be buried, leaving only the top two feet exposed. We bury them for a, a number of reasons. It reduces the stress on the walls by having something push against it when the tank is full of water. Hulk says a fourth project scheduled to begin in 2016 will replace three tanks and a pumping station at the utility's Hillcrest site. We will be starting the final phase of our tank program. That will be three 15 million gallon storage tanks. They will be the, the three largest that we have built in the whole tank program. For the vast concrete slabs used in these projects, internal curing has proven it's capable of reducing shrinkage cracking, providing greater cement hydration, and decreasing permeability. Hulk urges other water utility providers consider internally cured concrete for their expansion and replacement projects. I would advise them to look at the technology and look at, at all the research that's been done. There are volumes and volumes of reports and papers and, and good documentation of what internal curing is and what it does. At Denver Water, we couldn't be happier with the results. For the Expanded Shale, Clay, and Slate Institute, I'm Doug Barron.